This video is from my Twitch stream. There is a link in the description or you can just follow the URL that I put on screen. Now I hope you enjoy a hat in time. All right, let's jump. Oh, mouse. No, I'm not. That is not my input of choice and neither is an Xbox 360 controller. My input of choice is a PS4 controller. Which is not recognized by mo most countries and religions. Alright. So last we left off, we had just opened up a brand new world. We're going straight in there because I think I... What was that? I think I just... I think I finished everything else. I'll just check that, I guess. Doesn't hurt. To check out if I did or didn't. And my only question would be if I finished this, because I did finish uh, Horror World. I have these time rifts to do, but I, I don't really like the pink ones. I like the. I do have a blue one. Where is this one? It's in the train. I could. You know what? To warm up, I'm just gonna go in here and do that time rift. We'll just, just skip through everything. Did you know? Did you un? But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? Yep, yep, yep. That's it. Get away from me. Oh, no. Hello, do you, can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? I see. And. All right, should be here, right? This is the place. Here we go. Here we go. Here's our platforming challenge. Hmm. This me. Ah, oh, the raccoons. I'm not a fan. Okay. This is also good to get used to the control. Again. Can I pull that off? What? Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, sir. Oh! You're an enemy! Jeez. Interesting. <laughs> to have an enemy type in... It, oh. In a bonus level, but not have him in the main game. It's very unusual. Like, he's just a dude in the main game. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't do that twice. Can't do the edge trick twice. Why do I always do it like that? There we go. Nope. Come on. One more. There we go. I wish, I guess now that I've played a few of these, I wish some of these were a little bit more complex. Because... Oh no, 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 no. Hacker, oh... That was really lucky. <laughs> Did I, do I not have... I don't. I don't have enough space. I think of between both, but this one's way better. But yeah, I wish these challenges were a little bit more complex. Because I am left wanting a little bit extra from these challenges. Nope. 
This is even worse. Did it all stop? Oh no. Can I still make it? Oh, that was life. Or not. Can I make it? I don't think I could. Okay. Wait. <laughs> There we go. This one's next. And the last one. Does it add extra tracks to this song? I guess that's where the homing is. Again, something I talked about last time, but even in that situation, I I don't see it being that beneficial. It's just my thought process right at that moment was, well, you can make the enemy movement a little bit more erratic because you have that homing missile. Uh, is that a timepiece? these have time pieces in them? It's the first time. Or is it? Or am I going crazy? <laughs> Has it always been there? No. Come on. Oh no! I, I did the wrong thing. I, I wanted to keep that one. Ooh. I kinda... Here we go. What's this? It's a little bit on the low resolution there. Oh no! Is it because I got 25? I'm in. I made it. I infiltrated that kid's Oh no. I don't like this. <laughs> I I don't like that I I'm playing as mustache girl. Can I sit down? No. Oh, cuz like if I didn't know, you know, that I have to this would pretty much be the end of the game for me. I would just stop playing if that was an option. I will stop playing, but I'd choose not to do anything as Mustache Girl. I would just not play. But yeah, can't progress if I don't play. Can you not climb ladders? You suck, Mustache Girl. Sorry. It's the truth. Thought we had a lock on that. This is interesting. Can I still go to the previous worlds? Yeah, it's all red outside. Can I... has a exclamation mark it's about to get scary they don't let me get the glasses anymore okay mustache girl you messed with the only thing that you shouldn't have can I go through the doors no I'm guessing that that it's the traditional route of going up and around. You can barely see anything. 
Hopefully you guys can see things. Alright. Oh, we can go to areas that I wasn't able to before. Like into this Star Wars DJ thing. Shiny. Need to hit it. Oh! Oh, level's not meant for you to come up here. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh. Mmm. Interesting. They expect you to know. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I do like that. That they use these same levels, but now, without changing any of the assets so far, they make it more challenging. I'm saying that from that one situation right there, but we'll see. We'll see how true that stays as we go through. Oh. Oh, are we going to a brand new area? Huh. Oh. Oh, this has nothing to do with what <laughs> Mustache Girl did. This is just... The last part of the act. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, this... Does the entire game change? No, no. At least I don't think so. This is just... The sixth act. Of the Bird Studio story. Because that... I have a feeling that this is probably gonna get really dark. <laughs> this mission. Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Okay. We're back into stealth gameplay here. Okay. Anything over here? Hmm. Hmm. As I always say, it's the little things. A lot of these look like unpaid bills. Makes sense. You don't recall seeing many cinemas on this planet, and destroying trains probably gets pricey after a few takes. Got a point. Logic and sound. Proceed, proceed. Ooh. Music. What's this? Looks like you're not allowed past this point. Very subtle. I don't get the joke. <laughs> is there a joke or is it just the signs? I don't see any. No cats allowed. I don't see anything that like could be it's just. No eggs. Am I the egg? Was there a joke where one of them called me an egg? There might have been. I, I really don't remember. Feeling I, I could probably do something over there. Nope. I think I could fall there. No. Okay. Get in there. There seems to be a tunnel on the other side. Okay. Keep that shadow under me, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Wow, it's a lot. Oh, there we go.
there another one? I think it was just that one. Okay. It's not hard. Which is... The only challenge so far that I've found enjoyable challenge-wise, I think this is a very fun world, very fun uh, game overall, but like... It's wrong. The camera, sometimes. Like here, I, why can't I move my camera? Am I supposed to do that? Sometimes it locks the camera, but it doesn't do it when uh, it feels like it should. Where's that coming from? It's up there, okay. Ooh. How do I get there? Yeah, my big thing with this is that the so far I have not find it found it to be that big of a challenge. This game seems to be very much on the easier side. And I haven't done all the challenges, I haven't done all the things, but when it comes to platforming and just go getting around like I've been doing, um, it's it's definitely been on the easier side. And uh the, yeah, the only part I actually enjoyed uh, when it came to, to the difficulty was the uh, contract, the ghost guy, his boss battle. I thought that was... okay, okay. I thought that was a very good um, difficulty level. I really enjoyed that. Alright, so to get up there... Let's see... oh, I see, I see. So, you want me to... Nope. Um... Yeah, so that to me was like a good example of good difficulty, where it was challenging, I died a couple times, I'm not measuring it by that, but um, it was fun too, it was like, it was a fun challenge, it was definitely a challenge, and it was enjoyable to figure him out, to find out like what I had to do next, and there was a good amount of variation in there that uh... These shells are full of movies we've never heard of. The amount of bird puns in their titles is staggering. And, uh, there was a lot of creativity in that boss, and I really liked it. Um, the, the 2D chef one, or even the toilet one, uh, I felt that those left a little bit to be desired. They start repeating and doing the same thing, and I'll, although the, the ghost guy, RT in the air, art, art. RT in air. Jump for it, okay. Although, yeah, it did repeat. It was a repetition that was still felt fresh throughout the battle because I think the things in between were varied enough. The label reads John John Bar hinges. All you can see through the cracks is a magnet and a pebble though. Uh, references, I don't get them. I might get them, but the brain is just not cluing into what it might be. Uh, I know, I know. Calm down. What do you have to say? 
The label reads MacGuffins. I need this now. Fake fire. a thing. Very easy to spot collectibles in this game. Do I have a new hat in order? Is that- did I find all the hats already? Hope not. I want more. I like learning new abilities. New abilities. I got it, I got it. Did I see this one? The label reads, Chekhov's gun. Ah, my brain. I think I get some of these, but I don't know. didn't even see they they could do a little bit of a better job with these red cameras I completely forgot that they're each supposed to be a part of the challenge in this the layer reads framing devices okay those work like balloons yay you don't get anything for that, too. Like, there's a lot of opportunities in this game. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking, and I'm pretty much nitpicking, because in the grand scheme of the game, pretty good. Um, but, hmm, how do I get there? I guess I just go around. But, um, they're just, like, things that are supposed to be, like, satisfying, like, collecting those in a time family matter they don't result in anything other than the collecting of coins uh, themselves which uh, leaves to be desired a little bit there um, what's this the label reads ticking clocks you think of one being advanced and shiver <laughs> uh. all right well this is creepy hello But yeah, to speak on the more positive side of it, it has some really good moments. This game, a lot of really good moments, really. Nice yarn. Uh, and uh, as a on the macro level, I guess we can say, really fun. Uh, definitely like uh, something I want to keep playing. So much so that I am. Uh, and it feels ooh, is this can I cross it? Okay. It's not it's not a It's a game that feels good to play, it's very fun to do so as well. And uh so yeah, these are mostly on the smaller side for me, these complaints I have, but I think that there are some things that end up detracting from the overall game. Which I think could be a lot better than it is just by changing a few of these smaller things. I am enjoying this platforming though. I'm a fan of more vertical platforming and this is definitely scratching that itch. I like climbing. Climbing in platformers, to me, I've never really tried to analyze it. I'm doing so right now. But I think it's something I enjoy because you can't, it's a punishment. It is a punishment to go up. Um, something in a platforming game, whatever it is, a building or something. Because if you fall, the punishment is built in. So you either die and have to start back at the beginning of the level, or you have to climb all the way back up. And that to me, I don't think that when it comes to platforming, there's anything more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
it's not natural, it's just, I guess, built in to, oh, I don't like the framiumness of those effects. Okay, no, it's better now. Okay, we're about to get a cutscene. I'll continue about heights and platformers later. Is that a Wii U? Looks like a Wii U. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's not a, a cutscene. Makes me think it's a cutscene area. Does it need to jump on it? No. Oh, I guess. I guess. Well, since it isn't. But yeah, heights are by far, in my opinion, the, the biggest challenge in platforming. And my favorite challenge in platforming. So that's why last time when I was climbing that tree, I was so excited and kept trying it. I just like it. It's a type of challenge that feels satisfying to me when I accomplish it, and if I fail it, it's the type of thing that I also want to keep trying. Um, there. I just need to keep going. And uh, that's something that I'm going back again to Mario games, because that's what I grew up with. Uh, and really love. That's one thing I miss in uh, 3D World. It had pretty much no verticality, and when it did, it was very simple. It was uh, very minimized when, when it came to its challenge. And does this. This DJ Grooves' room. Ooh. It strikes you that this might be the gaudiest, most excessive thing you've ever seen. Doesn't look like there's any easy way to take it with you either. Shame. <laughs> of course, Hat Girl would want to take that. Um. Um. But yeah, 3D World didn't have anything in that realm. Like, it had some basic platforming, but it felt exactly that basic. When you think back of... Sunshine didn't have too much climbing either, but... So less of that, but like 64 had really good climbing. Yeah, it was mostly climbing up things. Uh, they were mostly like tower-built levels. Which... Um, I really like, as I have just finished saying a billion times. And, uh, Odyssey returns to that a little bit. Alright. Uh, not as much as I, I would want to. They're a lot more, uh, spread out. But there are some levels that have it. These posters came out pretty great. Though, it occurs to you that you never gave them permission to use the, your image in marketing. Actually, you don't call signing a contract for anything here. Or even giving them any of your details. It's possible you aren't getting paid for these movies. Train Rush. That's... I want to see the DJ Grooves posters. But yeah. So, all my favorite platformers end up having a little bit of that. Um, okay, so... Uh, camera... Why are you doing that to me? Don't take control over my camera in situations like this. Please. Like here. I wanna look... Even if... There isn't anything, I think there are better ways... See, I, ca I can't look down! What am I supposed to do here? There are better ways of doing that. Not it. 
Was that all the key was for? <laughs> Alright. Hmm. But yeah, one thing that I really like in this game is these little stories. I'm a fan of these little narratives each world has. Look who we've got here, darling. I guess you found my little secret, huh? This last time piece is all for me, darling. If you want it, well. I guess you've just got to come and get it. All right. Boss battle. Whoa. Here we go. I don't like that I don't have control over the camera either. I want to turn it. Ladies and gentlemen! It works for some battles, it worked for the for the last one we did, but not here. Because if you're gonna take control of the camera, it needs to be really good. You need to do it right. And I can get used to how it's being handled here, but it's not ideal. Ooh, that's... <laughs> that, that got really dark for a second. That's what I really like about this game. <laughs> it gets dark. Do I... And it's not afraid to get dark either. Like, it gets dark in a cartoony, funny way, but not afraid to do so. I don't think it ever goes too far either, or gets even close to going too far. Ooh. Okay. Alright. That could have been an interesting moment to reuse something the player has already learned. Instead of just being more of, of the attack, it being something I had to guess too. That could be an interesting uh, challenge as well. That would have been pulled from that other boss, boss battle. I wonder how different this would have been if I let the conductor win. These town pieces have fallen from the sky. Now I could understand if you feel they belong to you, darling. I understand. But did you know they allow for unwinding time? With one time piece, I could reclaim all the trophies that belong to me, darling. Every single trophy I've lost to the conductor when he has cheated his way to victory. I can't prove it, darling, but I'm certain the conductor has been manipulating everything to make sure I never win. I just need one time piece to fix years of cheating and fraud. Can't you spare me just... One time is done. Nope. Darling, darling, darling. You're so persistently selfish. 
I've brought you to stardom, and all I ask in return is a single timepiece. But you won't share? Nope. Well, darling, if you want this timepiece back so bad, come and get it. Let's do it. What? Remember this bomb, darling? I stole it from the conductor's movie set, and now it'll be your demise. Jeez. Uh. All right. Oh, does it actually? Is the time remaining actually what I had remaining for from my last, from my countdown from the conductor? Because if that's the case, I remember it ending about this amount of time left. It might be a coincidence, but that's that's really cool if it is what you remain. Go. I think we got it. We're doing we're doing a pretty good time. I think it's not gonna let me win, even if I am doing well. Uh, all right. Hello. That's all. Now this is. No, I, I really do approve of this. This was exactly what I was talking about. The type of thing, not. The specific example of adding things you've used before and learned before. This is good. It's a good challenge. I think it could have gone one more level forward. Because this was pretty easy. This was my first try. And again, I don't expect it to be something stupidly hard. And, uh... But I... Maybe because this is an earlier level than the other one. That might be a thing. So they are getting harder, uh, level by level. What's up, JT? How are you cooking? Free roam, all right. Now we're actually gonna get through this. It's complete already. Not early access. And it's pretty polished, gameplay wise. It plays really well. Guessing I can stand on these. Yes. If I don't see yetis in this level, I'm going to be really disappointed. No? Alright. I know. <laughs> that girl. That girl, come on. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's weird. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, but they're a timepiece. She's a time lord, dude. Uh, she's a time lord. Pretty much not even joking. <laughs> she is, uh... Oh. We didn't get this far last time. I'm not gonna leave a challenge behind, I'll kill it. <laughs> I know, right? Come on. She has a spaceship that she travels on and it uses little... It's time-powered and stuff, so, you know. I don't like I don't like the purple stuff. It bothers me. Hmm. Am I on a monster? Is this what this is? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Where am I going? Do I have to hold? I don't. Hallelujah. Welcome to Colombia. Yes, it's on PC. I don't think it's on consoles, it might be on consoles. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is great. What are you? From Pyre? Are you- Oh, you're an enemy! You're an enemy! Oh! Yeah, I definitely would- This is worth a buy. This is the same uh, voice actor from the cat, <laughs> clearly. These telescopes let you look at far away peaks. Okay. I'm guessing that that's a timepiece over there. Um, what was that? Alright. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, no, you should trust IGN implicitly. Oh, thank you for that just straight up information. I am kind of confused with this world. I don't know what to, how to navigate it. I like combing through it carefully. Okay, thank you. I am- this is not the way I like to do it. <laughs> it's kind of getting to my OCD side that wants to just like explore every single corner, but I don't know which way to go. Oh, that was a hiccup. I don't know if that shows up on stream. By the way, how smooth is the stream? Is it running alright? Like, no hiccups, no freezes. Oh. 
What? How to blow those horns to open new routes. Okay. How do I... How do I blow the horn? Blow those horns to open new routes. What horns? Oh, these- that's a weird spot for you to tell me about something that's right above me. I just opened all of them. All right. You've cleared Goat Village. Goat Village. How did I clear Goat Village? Did I get to Goat Village already? What? So I'm guessing I can just choose one. I don't want to go to this one first. I want to go to- oh no. Alright, so this is the entrance. I'm gonna go to the green one first. I have no idea what that means. Is it good? Or is it like hitching? I was having some trouble earlier. I'm gonna die again. Yeah. Never run towards the camera, kids. It's a dumb thing to do on a platformer. You need to be able to see where you're going. Alright. I wanna go to that one. Yeah, yeah, birds, whatever. There we go. There we are. All right, take care, man. Enjoy Overwatch. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't a, such a great idea for me to do this challenge first. Since I am not a fan of this mask. Thank you! Thank you! Just make it. I think I can make it. All right. Oh. All right. Nope. Okay. I see. It might have been actually just because it was early game. Because this platforming is getting a little bit more interesting. Still not where I want it to be, but it's getting more interesting. Ooh. The Twilight. Ooh, I like the inside of that pal. Oh, hello, you. Totally in right now. That's what I've been told to say. So make a purchase. Do you work please. for someone? I thought you were your your own boss. All right. 
You don't seem to have any more useful badges. Alright. What type of thing are. Ooh. I like it. I'm into it. something it feels like it's sinking okay now it's just floating around hello you uh, I don't like that I can't jump and attack how am I supposed to do this oh oh interesting hmm I wonder how that'll come into play later. Or if it will at all. Invisible enemies. Interesting. Yeah, this is getting more creative now with the tools that it gives you. You can switch them around. Adding different colors. What? Just happened. I get that I dropped down from that, but I had I had my goggles. Should have been able to pull it off. stand on this? Yes, I can. Oh, these are negative zones. Okay, I get I thought this was something I also had to activate. Alright. Can you guys... Can I... What's this one? Time stop yarn. 24 yarns. Do I have enough yarn? I have 12 yarn. Yarn yarn. <laughs> How many times can I say it? Time stop yarn. I want that one. I'll get it soon. <sighs> oh, okay. Timing.
go. This is definitely getting way more interesting platforming wise now. Which I do. Oh, I messed up. Come, hat girl, hat girl, come on. Much better timing. I guess one thing I just haven't really talked about in general with this game is just how it looks, just straight up looks, and it. It looks. Uh, mm hmm. Not gonna catch myself saying something I don't actually think. Just gonna. Just gonna give it some time, give it some thought. Should have gone that way. I could have gone that way. Okay, where's the key for? It? I guess the right thing for me to say is that I like the art direction. I do not like, however, how it was implemented. I feel that there are some things that just don't match. It feels like. It really what is an indie game. Which is like... That doesn't mean it's a bad thing at all. It just means that it is what it is and it... Oh, wrong one. Mm. But it definitely lacks a little bit of the polish. It definitely lacks a little bit of the... Like the attention to do details and... This is something I mentioned the first episode. Where, like, I don't, I don't think... I don't like the models too much. Because, like... There are certain angles you look her at... Where, like... Her her model looks a little bit deformed on the face. And I'm not a fan of that. I... Oh, uh, and what I said... Before, and I, I still believe it... Is that... If... The game looked... Like, it's art, it would be just right. It would be pretty much perfect in that regard. Um, because it's... It's art is just gorgeous, I love it so much. I'm a huge fan of the Hat and Time art. No! <sighs> Let me get the right hat on. It's this one. Really confusing. Well, you don't do it like that. Didn't need it. Oh, didn't see these. this hat on and let's -a go there we go you can just hop down but do I want to that is the question Hmm. Hmm, I see. Okay. What? Nice. 
Oh, do I use the key as my weapon? Does it change? No, it doesn't. Oh, no, no. It would be interesting if it changed in my inventory. Alright, going back up. Blam. Oh, interesting. It negates its own thing. Oh. <laughs> Alright. A little bit of a brain teaser here. Alright. That fixes it. Dying fixes it. Should reset. I understand why it doesn't, but it should definitely reset. Where am I trying to go? Okay, so, oh, I see. I see. It's interesting that Mustache Girl can't climb ladders. Whoa, that's fast. Over here. Can I not get on top of it? Nope. All right. No, I'm I'm being stupid. <laughs> Here we go. Woof! All right. You cleared the twilight bell. that do does he become more evil does he become nice okay finish that one I'll go to the bird one I guess See how this one, how we fare on this one. All right. Um. Oh, I lost chat. One second, I'm bringing chat back up. Bringing chat back up. And it's back. There we go. Alright, thank you, little person, green person. Is this why it said no birds? Because of this world? In the film studio? No, birds are... What? Where does this lead to? Does it just lead to challenging platforming? Because I'd be okay with that. Even though this game has already been delivering a little bit more on that front. Well, I want to explore this area first. I don't want to just go. Okay. 
Completionist. Make sure you swing towards the path you want. Hmm, interesting. Thank you for that tip. That goes to a separate place? It does. Um, I'm gonna check the other way first. It said that it led nowhere, but it clearly was leading me somewhere, so I'm gonna go there. It might be a bonus area of some sort. Don't lie to me. Take? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's see. Oh, I want to go over there. This is that. That's just decor. The Purloined Village. Oh, I see it. I see it, little one. Uh-oh. What is this? What is this dog symbol? Or is it a cat symbol? It seems like a cat. Purr. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Birds! Whoa! Did he just kill himself? Is that what just happened? That enemy just throw himself out with my money? I guess that would be a thing. See, I'm, I'm pretty okay with this locking of the camera. They only steal one, so it's fine. There's not much, they're not doing too much damage to me. Sometimes she grabs onto nothing, like at least what seems like nothing. There's clearly something there game-wise, but... Whoa! That was... That was quite the hit. So are they foxes? The signs look like cats, but they look like foxes. This is probably also going to be my last thing today. It's a shorter stream. Started later, so... Ugh. There we go. Hoping that one of these guys will give me some health. I hope. The game's going weird. These usually have health. And then... Nope. Not this time. The distance... Hmm. It sends me all the way back to the beginning of the island. Ooh, how far back is it gonna send me? This time. Okay. Alright. There's no extra punishment to losing a life. At least it doesn't seem like it. I guess all of the enemies respawn. Is that's a that's a punishment? Jeez. 
These guys are really aggressive. Like, there's something right there that stops me from running. Jeez. Alright. My money? Come back. Is that it? Did I do it? Seems like I did it. Alright. Get out. Treasure. I think, like, so far... There's not much left for me to, like, say about this game. I think the things I said have stayed pretty much true so far. In my opinion, of course. The biggest problems with it are smaller. Um, nothing that's, like, pr makes me not want to play it. That it makes it a little bit less fun. Because camera and stuff like that. Other things that, like, if they were flawless or closer to, um, it would make the game just so much more of a joy to play. But it's already there. I think it creates a really fun world to be in. It's it's very cute. Uh, cute characters, cute enemies, just like really nice little idea. Oh, what? I stole my hat! back here. Um, and it's still presenting new ideas, like these invisible enemies. My biggest problem is that it, so far it seems a little bit lacking in challenge. That's my, oh, my biggest thing. Like, after you learn how to deal with something, it, it's super easy. It doesn't maintain any sort of challenge. You've cleared Purloin Village. Cool. Alright. So we're going back. It's very nice of them of not, uh, not kick you out after you finish, uh, after you get a timepiece in this world. It really would be annoying if I had to go all the way back through. I like, pretty much have to do that, but... Yeah, I'm waiting for whatever path I might need to take. Seems like a straight path. Thank you. I do enjoy most of the music I listen Some of it, I find it like, oh, it's, it's not get, uh, catching my attention. Um, but most of it is pretty good. Highlights, yet yeah, uh, right now are still uh, the Mystery Train I was a big fan of, uh, the boss for the horror world. I, I was, I'm a really big fan of that music. It reminded me of Undertale. Reminded me of Undertale music, which is very good. Really like Undertale music. I think, uh, uh, I forget his name. But Undertale guy. What's his name? Um, he, he is primarily, uh, like a composer, and it really shows. <laughs> Not to say that the rest of the game is crap, because it's pretty good. But the music in Undertale is 
especially nice. Oh, I see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we have the diverging paths. Nice. Okay. So I can just. Thank you. So I want to swing this way because I want to go uh, this way. This way. Some more Hearthstone lines for you Hearthstone fans there. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. I need to do it the other way around. Yep. Alright, there we go. I like the themes of these worlds, so... This an explodey. Was oh, this the birdland? Of the, the little black birds? I might play Toy Story 2 after this. I love that game. Probably doesn't hold up. I haven't played it in probably like uh, 15 years. Something like that. But uh, I'll try. I'll probably fail, but I'll die trying. I don't know what version to pick for that one. Since there are so many different versions. Oh. There we go. Is that a thing? Is this a thing? No, it's not a thing. One thing I also like about platformers in general is just that the familiarity you get with the character. Soon, like, and obviously you still need references like, oh, where to jump and stuff, because some jumps, you know, those vary. But, like, you, you learn your range, you learn how the character moves, how fast, how slow, and you just, it just feels natural to a certain point. I, I don't feel that, that in a lot of other uh, games that have a bunch of systems and stuff like it, because this is very much about you playing. It's the same thing with a game like Rocket League, where it doesn't have different cars that require different abilities. It's just the basic ability of driving a car and doing the thing and doing stunts and jumping. It's that. It's always going to be that. But it's about how you play it, how you familiar you become with it. And, uh... Not everything I sell is of value. I also sell terrible badges. And yet, people buy them anyway. Yeah, these are all terrible value. <laughs> Alright. But, uh... Yeah, that's one of the things I, I love about platformers, is that they're simple. Alright, what's your deal? Okay. Hey, little guys. They're simple and... What's, what's the thing I heard a lot of people talking about? Overwatch about. I think it applies. It's, uh... Well, when it comes to Overwatch, we were like, there are some characters... Some characters are very hard to master, but when you do, uh... 
There we go. Well, when you do, it's you. That's when you get really good, but otherwise you're really bad. And if you know Overwatch, that would be characters like Genji or just high skill characters. And there, there are other ones that are easy to use, technically, right? Like, um, I guess if you're going to use it, him in a very basic way, Lucio is pretty easy. Like, you, you can wrap your head around, oh, switch the thing for heals and speed, and then... And, you know, you can go on walls sometimes, but then you get someone like uh, Stanky, D DSP Stanky, where he became this master. Like, you don't need to play like that to, to be good at Lucio, but you can. That is open to you. So, while a good Genji, like, that's the only way you should be playing Genji, a good Lucio, you can play him in a more simple, in a simpler manner, but you can also, uh, you can also, uh, go crazy if you really dedicate to it and really, uh, hone your your skills and that's the same thing for platforms that was a really roundabout way of saying that platformers are like Lucio <laughs> they they're easy to learn difficult to master they're not hard to learn and hard to master Hello, birds. Hello, little birds. Oh, uh, I keep forgetting. Eggs. I... Not supposed to approach the eggs. I have a lot of pawns. Is that where I was? I didn't really notice this gross matter that comes out of it. I am getting a little bit turned around. I, I know where I have to go. Like, linear... In a linear fashion, fashion, I know where to get from point A to point B here, but... I'm not getting a very good understanding of the place as a whole. Like I said earlier, it's something I usually like to have. Oh! In games like these. Yeah, yeah this, this world is a lot more linear. And some of the other ones. Even though it's at free roam, it is one of the least free roamy of them all. Yeah, sure, you can go back and whatever, but it's the it's the Mario Galaxy of these so far. Am I gonna have a big battle with this bird? What's going on here? Or not? It's weird to just use the big bird. Oh, nice little. It's time with the music. Nice. I don't like how these things look. They look kind of evil. They look like they're infecting the people. Um, but yeah, so this is where I'm gonna end this today, a little bit of a shorter stream. Um, this world gets really laggy, this hub world for it, it's interesting. Um, oh. Hmm. 
But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next stream. Go come check it out. It's Rods 012, different from my YouTube, which is Rods 012. Uh, yeah, it's confusing. Would have been better if I just picked one. But no, I was not smart. And I mixed them up. Alright, we'll probably be going there next time. Alright. See you all around.